He is a legend. He is the mayor of Radio Row. Oh, gosh, please. You know that, right? Enough spots, I can promise you. How are you there, Stu Gosh? <laughs> Mr. Gill, how you doing? All right. Great, how are you? Okay. <laughs> Look at that smile on his face oh, when he calls yeah. you Mr. Gill. I'm on. excited, man. <laughs> did you enjoy that uh, frozen game in <laughs> Kansas City with your Dolphins? You know I did not enjoy that, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> their season ended on that punt return against the Bills. Yeah. That's when their season yes. ended. Well, really, it ended against Tennessee with Will Levis. That, that's true. Should have yes. won that game. Had a two-touch, yeah. two two-score two yeah, lead in the game. Horrible. After you're out of it, the whole game. Well, they would have clinched the East and that, and then they would have a. They, they would have, they they would have had the home game, and yeah, who knows? Exactly yeah. right, doggy. How many Super Bowls for you? Uh, 1990 was the first. So what was that about 34, 35? Jesus. The San Francisco Denver game when the Niners beat the Broncos 55-10. Right. That was the back-to-back -back years with Montana. The next year, the Giants beat San Francisco in the three-peat game and played Buffalo. Right. So that was the second one we were at. So the first one was in New Orleans. In 90, there was nobody there. Eddie Andelman was there. Uh, maybe Bo uh, Eskin of Philly and the local radio, but not a lot there. It's, that was the first one. Chris, it's changed a lot. Oh, it sure has. Uh, mean, the first time I remember a little radio row was in uh, L.A. Right. for the Dallas Buffalo game, Yeah, which was in 93. They put us in a convention room at the hotel at Universal. I would say maybe about 10 stations. That's, right. the, that's the first time I remember lots of radio stations and sort of a radio row scenario. In so the last you, 15, 20 years, look at it now. You right. built this. Well, I don't know about that. No, you, strong. Doggy, you why are you so this uncomfortable you. with yeah. that? You did. You I built it. You built, built the whole it. industry, dog. Strong. I mean, <laughs> here's the thing, though, doggy. I love you, Steve. <laughs> here's the thing, though. You know what that I like about you? The fact that you're still here doing this because you're so accomplished. And so loves it, Billy. It, and yes. love it. Yes. You love the energy. You yeah, love I do. The I the energy love carries the energy. hubbub and the hullabaloo. It does. There's something to that. It keeps you young. Yeah, I can't, you know, so you do it because if you don't do it, you're not going to get back into it. So you better make sure you have it all out of your system. Right. When in fact, you do say, I've, I've had enough. But 90 was the first one. I did miss the one in Tampa yes. with the pandemic when yeah, Kansas City played sucks. the Bucks. Right. right. Yeah, well, Tampa sucks. That was on Zoom, anyways. You didn't <laughs> yeah. want to. You missed that was nothing. a Zoom one. Yeah. missed nothing. <laughs> but I did go to the next year when it was in LA and the Bengals played the, which was the first one. They sort of got back together again after mm -hmm. COVID. That was a couple years ago. I did go to that. So I, I've been to plenty of them. So there you yeah. go. Uh, dog, you know how much I love you. I, I never want you to stop doing this, but I did read recently you were quoted as saying, I can't do this forever. Ooh, and I'm going to tell you, yes, you can. And uh, you better. I that mean. was a way, that was those quotes were a while ago. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, because I was talking about kids, everybody's out of the house. Yes. So it's just my wife and myself, which right. is obviously going to drive both of us nuts. Uh, so from that standpoint. More her than you, dog. Uh, I'm probably right. Yeah. Uh, if, from anything, that, if anything, more reason to keep doing it and coming to Radio Row. Yeah, is to, yeah but she's with me this time, so oh, I got wow. burned here. Yeah. <laughs> in Vegas. She's not leaving you alone in Vegas, dog. Uh, and my daughter's with her, too, so the both of them, uh, they're, 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 they are you know keeping each other company. But the uh, first time she's been with me at the Super Bowl, probably since the mid 90s uh been a lot long yeah uh but uh, you know the bottom line is is that um you know uh you still like doing it you, you, you love the first take stuff with Stephen a it's fun you got the baseball still there in the mix too for a little while so from that standpoint i'll go as long as i can go the radio is only three hours a day it's not the end of the world right so away you go how big has Stephen A. and that show and that platform been for you? Oh, very, very. Renaissance. You love it, dog. You're great Renaissance. Yes. Renaissance. Renaissance. Yes. I mean, he gave me another second. We gave me a, you know what he did? He gave me a second wind. Right. Here's what he did. I yes. mean, because it was two and a half years ago, and he gave me a second wind. Plus, it's amazing the amount of the audience who doesn't follow you on radio, doesn't know anything about Like, you guys follow me on the radio. Yes. 90% of his audience follows him on the TV. Right. So they don't. You know, the, his audience doesn't have, they're not going to listen to Sirius, for instance. Yes. Most people in that situation probably won't. So it's a different element that has sort of been introduced. And so as a result, it works out well because you got the radio taken care of. Right. And then you have the, his audience and the TV audience, for per se, yes. taken care of. Yeah. So to kill two birds in one stone. You yep. don't understand. You were meant for TV. You're great at radio, but TV, you take it Animated. to another level. Animated. Oh, yeah, my Billy, God. Billy. You know where the cameras are. You know exactly how to play. To it. You're great Billy. on television. Dog loves radio. Like I do. Loves, it's his passion. Well, you know what I like to do better than anything else? I like to perform. 
Yeah, that's yeah. A, you are oh, a performer. I like to perform. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that's I mean that is really the key. If you like to perform, you can do it forever. You guys like to perform. He loves to talk. Love wants to, to hear yes. himself talk. Yeah. I mean, so from that standpoint, if you love doing that, you can figure out a way to get through your days. Just don't stop, dog. No, nah, I won't stop. <laughs> Who do we like in the game, by the way? Who do you like? I like the Chiefs. I'm not betting against Mahomes. Why are they Why? the underdogs? I can't understand that either. I'm surprised. Two and a half. Well, it's only a point and a half, two points. Yeah. Bay that you know the Bay Area, Vegas, maybe a lot of money coming in on the Niners because it's close by. Yeah. But why would you bet against Andy Reid and Mahomes? No, I wouldn't you can't. do that. Dog, this would be different, right? Like this, Because for Mahomes, the first two Super Bowls he won, he was expected to win those Super Bowls. The teams were good. Even the third he went to, he was expected to win. This is different. Eight weeks ago, no one expected this team to win a Super Bowl, to go on the road and do it against Josh Allen, to do it against Lamar Jackson, then neutral field against San Francisco. This would put them in a whole different I, conversation. I agree. Yep. And that's one reason why I like the Chiefs. San Francisco should have lost to Green Bay. Mm -hmm. We're very lucky. Campbell helped them against Detroit. While Kansas City had to play the extra game in brutal weather. Uh, and then, of course, beat the Bills. And that was a toss-up game, but they played well in that game. Good second half. Offense was good. And they, over, and, they, and they play much better than the Ravens. So, to me, the Chiefs are peaking at a little better time right now than the Niners. That's another reason why I like Kansas City. And again, I'm not betting against Mahomes. How right. can you, he's 14 and 3 in the playoffs and he's had one bad half. You'd be in the game against Cincinnati. Yes. Yes. That's it. Right. He's had one. I'm going to give him a break in the Tampa game in the Super Bowl because Reed was bad. The offensive line was terrible. I'll give him a little pass. Reed's kid had just had the car accident. Yeah. I think it kind of took it took something out of him. It was four days before the game. It was a week and a half before the game. I think this is something different. I, I think that you'll see Mahomes play uh, a little house money. You know, it, can you imagine Mahomes is coming into this game in a house money scenario? Who's going to kill Mahomes if they lose? Well, he is. He is because he's already been saying You don't want to lose too many Super Bowls. Yeah, dog. he's already you know, been saying I mean, three and one. It looks a lot better than two I know and Brady two. lost two. He lost two to Eli. Lost one to Nick Foles. But you don't want to lose too many if you're chasing Brady. That's the thing about Brady that's insane <laughs> is that Patrick Mahomes – Needs to get six more Super yeah, Bowl I, wins to pass he him. He won't. He won't pass him. He he, won't. He's 28. He's not going to get six more. Uh, but I think there's a different argument about the aggregate total of a career right. where Brady is going to be unmatched. Yeah. And in a scenario of their peak, who would you take? Aggregate, you can't beat Brady. If you ask me who's the best quarterback I've seen, I'd say Mahomes. Okay. Scrambling ability's got something to do with it. But you get what I'm saying. It's kind of like the Jordan LeBron argument, right? LeBron went to Jordan went to six, he won six. LeBron went to a bunch and lost a bunch too, you know? Right. It's, yes. it's a and little it bit him. like that. Yes. It hurts him. Yes. I think Jordan's better than LeBron anyway. Yeah. Because I never saw Jordan collapse in a big game. Where yep. I have seen a little bit of LeBron do that. But uh, and I have seen Mahomes play poorly in a game, and Brady had a couple of bad games too. But if you ask me right now, Money on the line, one game to win. Yes. And it's probably either Mahomes, Brady, or Montana. Take right. your pick. That's where I get the one game to win thing yeah. from. I get it from him. You got it from me? Yeah. <laughs> Excited to see if Taylor shows up to the game? Yeah, she will. I guarantee you. <laughs> I had Clark Hunt on yesterday. She yeah. said, he'll be here. Yeah. Uh, well, what time is that she flight asked the owner of the Chiefs if Taylor I asked her about be the there. I asked her about security. How did you handle the security or your... Well, hold on a second. Doggy, you can't criticize everybody talking about Taylor, and then when you have the owner of the That's Chiefs going to ask about Taylor Swift. It was the last... Good job, Billy. <laughs> right, Billy, good job. It was the last question, I almost forgot to ask it, yeah. but I got it in. Uh, what what is she finishing in Tokyo? What about six o'clock in the uh, in the morning on Saturday? Yeah, yeah. yeah, something like that. Yes. So she can she'll get her. Yeah. Oh, she'll fly. I mean, she's not flying United. I promise you that. <laughs> Clark had to be so grateful for Taylor. Yeah. He, oh my he, lord. Yeah, he really put the Chiefs, uh, you know, even more so on the map. Right. Ah, uh, the Chiefs. Uh, listen, what a run. You yes. know. She's and crazy. they didn't win for a hundred years. You remember the Chiefs had a lot of bad seasons. Mm -hmm. Yes. They won the one Super Bowl in four, and after that, they were terrible. Yes. And now they have, you know, one of the great runs you're ever going to see. Well, and you're questioning Andy Reid. Can Andy Reid win the big game? Because that was his reputation. I sure in did say that. Yeah. yeah. No, he, it, he got a chance to win three here. Yeah. I said that all the time. I right. think we've learned that Reed can be a little sloppy with the ex with the uh, game management. You yes. know, he can be a little sloppy. Mahomes there. Mahomes erases a lot of that. Yeah, he does. No <laughs> question. He had McNabb. He had McNabb, yeah. and right. McNabb is, was was good, but he wasn't great. Yes. Yeah, this guy's great. Erases. He camouflages a lot of stuff. Uh, we'll let you go in a second here. How do we get Bruce Springsteen to the sphere? How do we do that? That's a good point. Yeah, I know, dog. He's wow. coming to Vegas, you know, on March. Right. 23rd or so. You going? Uh, you know, I'm not, but he opens up that second half of that tour. I had Stevie Van Zandt on in the studio. Mm -hmm. Right, of course. Uh, two weeks ago. He's very good. Once 90, a year, yeah. 90 right? minutes. Yeah, at least. He was really good. Anyway, yeah. he starts in Phoenix on the 19th of March, and then that weekend he's here. 
but I'm sure he can't do it. Yeah. I'm going to the Sphere tonight. Have you been in? He's going, going to you too. Yes. You want to go, doggy? I got. I, I take my wife and kid. Oh, you take your uh, doggy. How about me? You want a gummy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm up too. I hear that. Have you been in? Have you been? I there? haven't yet. No. I hear it's a little weird. The building. Have you heard that? I have heard that. Well, there's, it's there's, a Sphere. There's vertigo issues. You got to be very careful in there. I'm telling you. Vertigo issues. Yes. Yeah. That will freak me out a little bit. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe I won't go. Uh, Doc, how about this? We come back to Vegas in like four or five weeks. Dead and Company is playing at the Sphere. Yeah, I saw they that. Have a residency. You want to come with me? No, no, I'm Doc, not. come on. I, I got my wife tickets for Adele on Saturday night. Ooh, so she saw you. them at Adele Saturday night. Look at you. That was good, too, at the Caesars Palace. That was a good job. That is a good move. Sirius XM Radio, Mad Dog Radio. Uh, you can check him out in the afternoons. He's an absolute legend. He's I love you, Stu. Got you the he best. Is Mr. The McGill, mayor good to see you. Of radio Row. 